<laughs> I've got to try and make it funny. Hi everyone, welcome to Match Bell. Today we are doing our predictions for this weekend's pay-per-view, which is Fastlane. It's happening this Sunday, to be precise. Yeah. Uh, today it's just me and Richard doing it. Uh, the other boys have got corona or something like that. I don't know. Pandemic's going on. <laughs> um, which, uh, sadly, this means if Liam's not doing predictions with us, the championship is now vacant. Oh, vacant's got it. That oh, vacant always gets it at some point in the year, doesn't it? Thirty-time champion vacant. <laughs> <laughs> so it's down to me or Richard to steal it from vacant this weekend. So we will have a new match bell predictions champion. It's a predictions scramble. That's what it says. Uh, it's my chance to be a double champion because I'm. Uh, actually, the current NXT predictions champion. Ooh, double champ. Yeah, yeah. Alex, two belts. <laughs> Rocking them. Just need to hunt Ainsley down to get that belt off him. I'm going to play incredibly <laughs> safe now to make sure that you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like banking on this card being really predictable. <laughs> uh, so let's just get straight into it. Um, I'm going to go off uh, what Wikipedia says the match card's going to be. You know, our Lord and Saviour Wikipedia. <laughs> Um, so the first match that we've got is Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler defending their women's tag team titles against Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. Uh, this is another, this is a rematch from, uh, God, what was the last pay for you? Uh, the Chamber. Yes, this is a rematch from Elimination Chamber. It's been so long since the Chamber. It has, it's, <sighs> times move so slowly. In between Black Is that Madonna song? Yeah, it is. That is a Madonna song. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we shall write down our predictions. Oh, I don't know now. Oh, yeah, it must be. Yeah, right. Um... Right, ready, Alex. Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Ooh. So we've oh, gone, gone for the, the same, same thing. thing. No. <laughs> oh, this this was no. This was the this is the only one that can. <laughs> oh no! If we put the fine. Same... We'll be we'll be double champions. We'll be like free bird it. No, because if. <laughs> If we draw, doesn't that mean that he retains? <laughs> oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah, I'm allowing it. Like if if we draw. <laughs> <laughs> um, not much in that really, is there? I like I don't see him dropping the titles before Mania, uh, especially when it's Sasha versus Bianca at Mania. Yeah. Um. And if you want Bianca to look strong going into the match, then Sasha's got to be the one to either get pinned or tap out. I totally agree, yeah. Yeah. Although Reginald's in there, isn't he? So there could be some... Yeah, but he's been doing stuff with everyone, Reginald. I think... Yeah. Uh, who did he have? I think he's even been doing stuff with Nia and Shayna at the moment, so... Yeah. I don't know... Yeah, he's, he's currently with Nia and Shayna. I don't know where he's come from, but... Yeah. Like, he tried uh, helping... Uh, Sasha and Bianca get the, the heel win, didn't they, at Chamber? So maybe mm. Naya and Shayna will be a bit better at getting the heel win. So, yeah. Mm, yeah, maybe. Uh, right, so the next match is Roman Reigns, uh, accompanied by Paul Heyman. Mm. Obviously, Defending... we don't think that this is going to be the second match on the card, but no, yeah. it's the second one on Wikipedia. Yeah, as I'm currently reading it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Roman Reigns defended the Universal Championship against Daniel Bryan with a special guest enforcer, which is either going to be Edge or Jey Uso, depending on who wins their match on tonight's SmackDown. Um, are we predicting who it's going to be? Yes, we can do. Yeah. Who's who's the match tonight, then? Uh, the match is between Edge and Jey. Oh, Edge is oh, watching it, then. Yeah. Um, and whoever wins gets to be the special guest enforcer of the match. Uh, I think we're just going to pick the same thing, so right, let's go for it. I don't, I don't know, you know. Log logic says it should be one person, but then... Shenanigans. You 
Yeah, but then there's rumours that it could be the triple threat at Mania, isn't there? So, oh, is there? Yeah. Not too fond of that. I what, think, like, one of them's... If you win the Royal Rumble, you shouldn't then have to go into a triple threat. That makes sense to me, that. Yeah, no, I, I don't I don't think so, but... Right. Uh... Saying that, it's happened before. Didn't... Didn't Batista win it the year that he had to triple threat against Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton? Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, because Daniel pulled double duty at that mania as well. He did because he fit to, to get into the main event. That was a good WrestleMania. It was a terrible Rumble, but it was a really good WrestleMania. In fact, you know yeah. what? It probably wasn't a terrible r- Rumble. I probably was just salty about it at the time. I should probably I watch mean, it again. If you ask Ainsley, there's a big blank bit in the middle of it. <laughs> right, I'm ready. Yeah, three, two, one. Oh, no. <laughs> Why have you picked submission? This is my <laughs> my thing is Roman submission. You can't start robbing it. Well, Gil- he's doing he's doing the guillotine. guillotine I don't see him hitting the spear win. on Daniel and pinning him. Snap him. The next one might be. No, we're gonna put the same thing for the next one, aren't we? Oh, do you reckon? <laughs> it's it's a filler pay per view. Uh, do you know any storyline for this? Apart uh, from what we know about like the whole New Day thing. So this is the Big E Apollo Crews match for the IC title. Um, as far as I can remember, uh, Apollo's been having a bit of an identity crisis about what his whole character thing is, but now... I feel like that's been heel. his character for the last year. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's turned heel. He's embraced his Nigerian culture. Uh, he's even been like endorsed by uh, the president of Nigeria or something like that. Um, Is he definitely Nigerian? We're not doing a whole Kofi Kingston Jamaican thing, are we? Okay. Don't know. Just going what I've seen on socials. I, um, I think he had part of that in his entrance when he was doing NXT, though. I think it, he used to have the Nigerian flag there, but I'm not really yeah. sure. He was he was in the ring with a uh, a spear and two uh, Nigerian soldiers and stuff. Oh, he's, so. yeah, it says here. He's, oh no, well, it says he's from Jamaica. On the right, forget it. I'm not looking. I'm not reading the Wikipedia. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So Big E defending the championship. Uh, Big E beat. Sami Zayn quite convincingly on SmackDown last week. So I don't know whether the Sami Zayn's going to get involved or not, but I don't know. Uh, I'm ready to go because I was writing it as I was talking. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. So, three, two, and a one. <sighs> no! <laughs> Liam, you might be retaining this one, mate. <laughs> Just by default. We're not doing it on purpose. <laughs> oh, gosh. Right. Uh, the next match moving forward is Drew versus Sheamus in just a plain old singles match. Uh, Drew's already cemented his uh, title match against Bobby Lashley at Mania. Um, this is just a little bit of something that he's got to take care of before he goes and reclaims his baby. Yeah, this is the... Uh... Cameo by a kitten. <laughs> this is the Great Balls of Fire match that we'd never asked for. Yes. Uh... Oh, God, I've got to think about this. Yeah, yeah you know what? There's, there's no thinking about it, actually. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, all right, you ready? I am. Three, two, one. Oh, thank God. Oh, right. We have a deciding match. We do. Maybe. Unless we pick different on the last one and then still end up drawing. <laughs> right, so uh, I've gone wrong. for Sheamus because there's been a lot of talk about this triple threat match at WrestleMania. And I reckon yeah. the only way that Sheamus gets in there is if he does the dirty over Drew. So I don't think it'll be clean, mm. but I do reckon Sheamus might win this. Gets a bit of a dirty pin and then 
claims a spot. Yeah, I'll just like cow out. So, oh, I put pin, but you know, if he wins, then I get a pint, so I'm fine with it. Yeah. Um, I'm. Yours is the obvious just... one. Yeah, I, I went for the obvious one, and also I kind of, I'm hoping that we don't get either two triple threats or at least one. Um, I'd love to just see Drew go against Bobby in like a proper men slapping meat mm. match. Um, and plus, if he's just lost his title and stuff and he's coming back, you really want him to look strong going against somebody who's looking like a beast Yeah, going into Mania. Um, so if he he struggles a little bit against Sheamus, but he comes out on top at the end and mm-hmm. looks hench doing it kind of thing. Um, uh, the thing yeah. about WrestleMania is I really like the championship matches to be singles. And I think that, like we watched at TLC, I really think that the Intercontinental Champion suits triple threat matches for the people that are involved in it. Like, yeah, we had the... Jeff, Sammy and... AJ and it it worked really well. I think it's a good belt to have triple threats on, but not the champ, not the big, not the big title, not WrestleMania. Yeah, I always think that the mid card titles and the tag titles are always good to have a gimmick around. Either it's triple threat or like ladder matches, mm-hmm. um, or you just you straight up like extreme rules matches for them, uh, but. Yeah, you, you, your main title matches definitely need to just be singles. It's yeah, got to be about... It adds that, legitimacy that to it. Yeah, to not throw the Roman Reigns pun out. It's got to be about the big dog getting the win, basically. Definitely. Um, but yeah. Uh, right, the last match is a weird one. I don't know how to feel about it. I really should have read up on how this came to be i suppose it's just alexa messing with randy i guess but it is alexa bliss versus randy orton in an intergender match i'm gonna be honest with you it's 2021 (laughs) i feel like it is a quality and we should have men versus women and stuff but it's wwe and they're a bit no this this this, this isn't gonna be what this says uh it says that it's supposed to be alexa bliss versus randy orton but it's not gonna be that um like I don't know if you know this, but I used to watch Lucha Underground, and they have a lot of uh, intergender matches in there, and they're really good. Like the, the women are built to be as strong as the men, mm. but not not in WWE. That's not the way that you know. Not not a five foot nothing Alexa Bliss. No, going up against what six foot Summit Randy Orton. Mm. So I think we're mm. uh, it, like oh, it's not going to be Alexa Bliss, is it? I don't think it is. I don't. I kind of don't want to predict this match just because if the last one doesn't decide it for us, this is going to be. Yeah. It just says intergender match, so it doesn't say no disqualification or anything. Mm. But she's been making him like spew up black goo and stuff, and he's been hearing the voices in his head and everything so oh, i don't know i'm, I'm just yeah i'll take it on mm-hmm. but this is the most of rope <laughs> I've wrote two words. Oh, have I wrote two words? How many right. words? No, yeah. Scared, nervous, don't want to show it. Three, two, one. Ooh. So I put Bliss to win by cow out. Because if your Bliss okay. just stands in the ring and the fiend comes back and they start beating each other off no pun intended in the, <laughs> no no rude pun Poor choice of words. Yeah. Uh, like outside and then Alexa just stands in the ring and does a Lana and wins the Survivor Series match I mean the intercontinental the intergender match yeah but this is definitely um, just a, a, a build to Wrestlemania yeah uh, I'm just going for they both get in the ring lights go off 
Fiend appears in front of Alexa. Um, and then, yeah, like you say, Fiend and Randy get into it. Yeah, beat the match doesn't match doesn't start, and it just... Oh, it doesn't start at all? No, I don't think the match will start. I think it'll just be a, a brawl, and they'll go off in the back and disappear, and you won't see them for the rest of the night. Fair enough. So, like, where would you put this in the card? If that that you've just said was going to happen, would you have this as the, the, the closeout of the show? Or do you have the Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan as the closeout? See, I don't know, because... I don't feel like you could... Like, if you put that as the end of the show, people know it's going to happen. Because they'll be like, oh, there's, there's only 10 minutes left of the show. Like, this isn't... Yeah, so if you put it at the end of the show, it's definitely going to be a case of something like The Fiend's going to drag him under the ring or something, and you're not going to see him till... It's the time that gives it away. Mate, yeah. Uh... Second to last. You reckon? I, I, I think it's going to be either a, a brawl and it's going to be a no contest and one of them's going to stand tall over the other. Or... Adam Pearce the Fiend, comes out. <laughs> Makes yeah. it a match. Yeah. Uh, the Fiend's going to abduct Randy or something like that. Mm. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know where they'll put it. If they make it a mixed tag match, who would team up with Randy? Who would you put with Randy? No, I don't know. Asker's just Asuka. come back. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's only really Asker anyway. Like yeah. Charlotte's, it's it's got to be Charlotte versus Asker at Mania. Oh, Sh- uh, Shotzi Blackheart. No, she's. You'd be well happy with that, though, wouldn't you? I would be happy. Uh, mate, I'd, I'd be chuffed if anybody from. No. Eo. No, Rhea. Rhea's meant to be debuting on the main roster. All oh, right, nice, interesting. Um. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Rhea's going to get involved in it somehow, probably. Do you reckon? I'll I'll yeah. give you a point if that. If Rhea pops up. Yeah, yeah. if you know if she, if she pops yeah. up in that match. All right, yeah, yeah. If Rhea pops up in that match, I'll I'll happily take a point. Nice one. Right. Um, because Rhea threw Alexa out of the rumble, didn't she? True. Maybe I don't know. Can't remember. Mm. But yeah, do you want to close it up? Yes. Sorry, we digress there. Um, right, Mate, that's our this prediction. Is, this is literally the shortest video we've ever done. This is gonna be good. Yes. <laughs> um, if you think that's a great new record for us, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Like. We don't do short videos around here, if you haven't noticed. Um, we talk a lot. We like talking and chatting with yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. We're just we're good conversationalists. That's all it is. Not very professional, but good conversationalists. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. That is uh, mine and Rich's predictions. Um, we'll see what the boys have to offer if uh, anybody throws anything up. If Liam comes out of this on top, I'll be, I'll be miffed. Yeah. Liam might retain. Who knows? Fingers crossed for him. Um, He's a good little champion. He is, our Liam. Uh, Right. We shall see you after Fastlane uh, with our review for the show. And then on to WrestleMania. Yeah. Get it. (laughs) Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.